Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our continued blind let's play Conquest of the Longbow, The Legend of Robin Hood for the PC. My name is the Flightless Bird. This is your story based gaming channel, and today, today we just completed the archery challenge. We earned the golden arrow. Now, what's next? Let's find out, shall we? I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Let's go ahead and leave the cave and see what's up. Uh, I was about to come for you, Robin. There's a stillness of the forest that disturbs me. I suspect some danger, and I've warned all the men to be alert and stay close to hiding places. What sort of danger? I cannot say yet, but I urge you, go slowly and carefully through Sherwood. I fear an enemy shortcuts will be safe today. Your wood skills are subtler than mine. I'll heed your warning. Well, we were warned that the, uh, that the, uh, the Sherwood's men are probably going to be heightened. So does that mean that I'm probably going to be ambushed here as I leave? So if I do this and then go here? Huh? No? Not good? Robin, I'm pleased to see you safe. The force is calling with Sherwood's men. Perhaps you should go to your sons and hide. Nay, as long as I come in here and spin, nothing, nothing is amiss. I'm safe enough. I will not tell you here in this clearing today. Okay, fair enough. Uh, where are we heading? See Mary? Not to see Mary. See the green man? Green man, spirit of Sherwood, come forth. I didn't think that would work. Okay, guess not. Uh, where are we heading? Look out. This is a good idea to wait to look out. Although, we probably should head to Sherwood. Because it sounds like something's going down in the forest, and I may have to do something there. Anyone coming today down the path? Seems like you gotta wait. You know, uh, a little bit to see if anything happens. I think it's like 30 seconds or so. But I do not see anyone coming down this path. So should we go in the Sherwood Forest and see what we can do about these uh these guards running around? Probably uh already already kind of saved there. But I did talk to the uh the widow, so let's drop another save. So if I come here into the forest, oh. can I see? If, is isn't this a um? Thought that was one of the uh. One of the trees. Guess not. Ow. Oh, something just happened. What the devil? It sounds like a horde of men crashing through the forest. They're almost upon me. This is why I spotted them! Okay, let's save here. Oh, music, by the way. And, uh, pa-ching. Oh, hey, I got put changed. We got him. We killed the most famous outlaw of them all. Don't look like much, do I? Well, he's dead, you twit. What do you think you should look like? I don't know. Bigger like. Roger, if brains was a blemish, you'd be spotless. It's plenty big enough for me, lads. What, with the sheriff's rewards, we'd be rich men. Get on with it, then. Cut off his head as proof and let's drink the pub dry. Okay, so fighting them is not something we need to do. They're almost upon me. This way, I spot him. Let's see the forest of trees. Dang it, run. It's like, I gotta... I remember the uh, thing telling me about how I needed the, uh, the green man's protection. But I don't see any of the... Uh, the, um, the trees. Oh, here we go. Okay, what type of tree is this? It looks like, um, I gotta use the manual here. It looks like a blackberry. Yeah, that's... That's a blackberry, which is Muin. Well, let's hope they don't time me here because that would suck. So I need to call upon the power of the trees here. 
Uh, M is here. U is here. I is here. And is up there. Ooh, it opened up for me. Ah, secret passage out of the forest. Okay, so we eluded the guards. Uh, now where do we head? We're not down here in this clearing today. Um, I did not set just as an outlaw. Oh yeah, that's a good point. So now that I evaded the sheriff's men, if I come here, will anything happen? Like, what exactly are we supposed to be doing at the moment? Oh, hello. Looks like an aristocrat. Or just a merchant. Greetings, merchant. What brings you through Sherwood Forest? Well, my windy nothing here. What do you think? Why else would I be on this godforsaken road? And your trade? A ah, lapidary. That is to say, a jeweler. To your uncouth ears, a specialist in gemstones. What do you want, Nix? My genealogy? Punk. Faith, you're a sour disposition. I have walked many miles and my feet hurt. I'm hungry and tired and thirsty, and I've yet to my, I have eight miles to walk yet. Now, shoot, I'm beginning to mean to ask by a stranger to be ten. What's to be pissed about? Well, then let me remain strangers no longer. I'm known as Robin Hood. Wait, Robin Hood? The outlaw? Oh, God, just my bloody luck. All right, how much will it cost me? I have it to ask for. Oh, get top with it. How much will it cost me to get past you? I, I wouldn't you. I, I haven't much. You can look at my purse for yourself. I'm not a rich man. Hold on to your pennies for now. First, I would know more of your business and why you travel to Nottingham. Well, I said all I care to say. If you're going to rob me, get on with it. If not, let me be on my way. Okay, let's go ahead and drop the save here. And we'll talk to him. You say you're a jeweler, yet you carry no wares. No samples of your work. How is this? Ah, through these parts? Oh, the outlaws making the votes and save, what do you expect? I don't believe you. I'll wait you have some gems hidden upon you in some clever fashion. Nay, nay, I mean, I, I go into business when I get to Nottingham. Without money? Ah, well, I'll find a way. There's always a need for good jewelry. There's a false note to you, merchant. I know a lie when I hear one. Ah, go on, threaten me. Just what I expect. I knew you meant me harm the instant that they died upon you, punk. My friend, I meant you no harm. If I meant you harm, you wouldn't be talking to me in this fashion right now. Well then please, get on with whatever fermenting in your feeble mind. I want the truth from you, for I can tell you're hiding something. Well, you can wait until Hades freezes over. Okay, he says the same thing. So, do we, uh, threaten him? I mean, it, it seems like a good idea. Is there something else we can do to him? Would you trade your clothes for this ring? Uh, it's a fine enough ring with good crimson, but it's not enough to make the trade you want. But the ring is in source gold. If you say so, but it must be. Ah, uh, you don't believe me. If an outlaw with the bullet tells me the ring is magic, then I will believe him. All the same, I don't care to make the trade you propose. I was wondering about that, because these are magical rings and he's a jeweler. Please make your ring away, I don't care what they want to. I don't want to give him this, but at the same time, I'm, wonder I'm curious. I'm a mind to trade this emerald and new sort of Lincoln Green for your clothes and possessions. Suit! The sun is worth ten times that! You must be mad! Will you make the trade? By my faith, I will! And I'll call my men and we'll trade clothes upon the spot. Yeah, that's not something I want to do. I don't want to trade away Marion Stone, but I want to see what would happen if I did do it. You know what I mean? This is a bad idea. I'll load. I just want to see what happens. You kept your word right enough. I'll make you another gift. I feel, feel within lining my cape and bring out what you find there. I feel the bulge of jewelry. Aye, here it is. These are magnificent jewels. It must be worth more than my single emerald. Not so, they're false. But this is my skill, and the finest lapidary in the land could detect the fakery. I might detect them denying him and spindle this sheriff's wife, for I hear she loves jewels and can scarcely tell coal from diamond. Also, there's a tiny jar of jewels robe for polishing stones. Thank you, my friend. I hope you're well satisfied with the trade. I miss the fun of this window, but I'm a richer man than you with this emerald in my purse. Will, Tuck, escort our friend to the north. Uh, you're a fool to make such a trade. Feel in my bones that you'll regret it. We shall see. Oh my god, I actually lost like 200 points. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, how about money? How much do I think I need to give him? Uh, how about five pennies? 
five is a good number. Will this sway to a trade? Your clothes and possessions plus money plus a new suit of Lincoln Green. Green isn't my color, so money is enough. Okay, I guess five is not enough. How about six? Okay. How about seven? How about eight? Do we have a nine? I'm running out of money. How about ten? Really? Wow. I think I have enough money to give to him. I ain't giving him my jewel. I will draw my bow on him before I give him my jewel. I don't have enough money to give him. Uh, I could give him a ton of these. These are halves, which we call whole. So that's basically 20 pennies there. 20 pennies is not enough. How about 25? Oh my lord. 25 coins is not enough. We'll do this the hard way. I'll have your clothes and all you possess now. Show me a soul outlaw or curse you from here to London. Be grateful I let you live with the viper's tongue of yours. What have we here? I felt bulge the lining of this cape and what did I pull forth? As I thought, these are truly magnificent jewels. That is what you meant to sell in Nottingham. I'm worried you're taking all I have. I was going to sell this to wife. May I I'll do that for you. Good. And may she have a keen eye. And may she catch. Ugh, excuse me. This is just my attempt at speaking. What is her keen eye? Speak up. May she have a keen eye of appreciation. Tuck. A pot or two might put this fellow on the path to truth. Ow. Jeez. Wait. The truth then. The jewels are false. I meant to swindle her. But you never embark upon such a risk unless you are sure they pass the test. I'm master of any trade. No one make more perfect false jewels than me. Good. Then I'll feel no cause to worry. Tuck, John, escort him to the north and see he doesn't come back this way. You know, I didn't try blowing the horn. Someday you'll hang, Robin Hood, I'll rejoice at the front of the gallows. Uh, there's no way I'm training my jewel, though. Like, there is no way I'm training my jewel. I just saved 53, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Oh, well. Uh, let me, uh, I don't know. Just, ah, that, that bothers me. <laughs> Let me try blowing my horn. It's the one thing I haven't tried. Aye, right, go ahead. Not man enough to deal with me himself. I had no idea it was so terrifying. You call me a coward? Do I look like a fool? I never say such thing to fight an outlaw. Buy my beard. I need no help to deal with the likes of you. I won't argue with that. So I guess that doesn't work. If I cannot deal with sharp tongue mangle. Okay, let's try giving him every single coin I have. Let's try giving him the horn. I deal with stones that horn. All right, let's try giving him every single one I have just to see if I can do this or not. Because the bottom line is I'm not giving him my stone. I don't care. That's Marion's. I don't think giving him all my money is a good idea either. It's not enough. It's what we do. Oh, wait. This is all you have? Five pennies? I told you I was a rich man. I suppose you're going to take it all. Leave me without a founding in a strange town. Stranded, starving, just what I expect from. Cease, you may keep every penny, especially while still your whining tongue. And what is in this little jar? Jewel is rope. Use the polished stones. I suppose you'll take that too? So far, I've taken nothing from you but the lashing of your tongue. Not again, look. Just take the money and let me be on my way. What's this bulge in the line of your cape? You're not been honest with me. It's not just old stuff that I gotta go! I see why you kept this well hidden. What magnificent jewels. Shovel you, outlaw. If you take that, I'm ruined. It's all I have left in the world. I am named outlaw, but I'm no common thief, and you'll not suffer unfairly at my hands. But tell me truly now, what plans did you have in Nottingham? I've heard that the sheriff's wife has a passion for jewels. I propose to sell this to her. Then I'll see you profit. I'll save you the journey besides. You'll have food and comfort in my camp while I borrow your clothes, for I have a mind to sell these for you. 
Nay, you dare not. I mean, you know nothing about Julia. I mean, not this Julia, that is. You try my patience. Will you come willingly or what must I? Wait, the truth it isn't. These jewels are false. False? They are as fine as I've ever seen. Of course, I'm a master of my trade and my trade is false jewels. Only the most expert eye can pick my stones from a true one. Then you meant to swindle the sheriff's wife all along. Aye, 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 that is the way of it. Then be glad, for me, you'll have a fat purse with more than your false jewels and a new suit of Lincoln Green. I'll save you the risk of facing the sheriff. Heh, <laughs> fair enough trade, I suppose, though I'll miss the challenge of the bilking. Sit fast while I call my men. We'll change clothes upon the spot. Hey, that's how you're supposed to do it. Fantastic. Just had to put my hands on them. <laughs> Apparently. Twice. This pouch shows more than enough to cover my losses. You kept your word. I'll keep mine. I'll stay clear, Nottingham. My men will see you on your way. Don't trust me. Eh? I don't blame you. I won't trust you either. These words come gradually from my lips. So I'm hurt, but I wish you luck. Coming from you, my friend, I value it all the more. Treat him well, men. Only because you ask it, Robin. Come on, you. Hey, look at that. Took the part of a fairly prosperous merchant. So it took a couple tries, but in the end, we were able to uh, do it in a way that was not inflammatory. I'll wrap the velvet and have a look at the jeweler's supplies. One of the jewels most cunning pieces of work is this pinacular brooch. Yeah, this time I remember to check my uh to check my goods after changing costumes. Small round wooden box which the jeweler care with his goods. Inside is a rough reddish powder called jeweler's rogue. Okay, so I can open and close that. Uh, let's head to the castle then. Forthright, a mili- Forthright man of military bearing. I have traveled many dangerous and worrisome leagues that I may lay before your vainglorious master and his Kaliapigian spouse, the humble, yet incomparable splendors of the lapidary's craft such as I possess. Eh? Ha 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 That's what I was about to say. I have fine jewelry to show the sheriff and his wife. Ah, uh, the sheriff's lady wife will be most pleased to see that. I have your escort in. Giles, Roger. Show this here gent to the sheriff. And send word to Lady Matilda and she has come to see her. Most illustrious lord and lady. Why, it's the archer! What archer? What are you saying? The one called Puck! He's more finely dressed and isn't wearing the eye patch, but I recognize his handsome, mm, I mean, distinctive face and blonde beard. The ladyship is surely mistaken. I've only just arrived. Nonsense! I had a perfectly good look at you at the tournament. Seize him! We'll get the truth from him quickly enough. Well, that didn't work out well. What a curse of Evan's dashing beard so impressed the sheriff's wife. Had he been a bit more careful, he might have had a hair's breadth escape. Ah, the sheriff wasted no time like his beard with the rope. They say the sheriff's wife wept through the whole hanging. She'll comfort the poor Robin with that she never recognized him. Okay, that's something I didn't expect. Uh, is there something I have to use on myself to maybe dye my... There, a bit of rogue rub into my beard and onto my eyes will complete my disguise. Perfect. Okay. Cool. I would have never thought of that until a game over screen occurred. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Sire, I can tell by a noble bearing that you must be the illustrious sheriff of Nottingham, famed in song and legend. And this rosy cheeked wisp of a fair maid, could this possibly be your wife? Why, you must have married her as a mere child. Oh, there, John, you see? That is how a cultured man speaks. You're welcome here, sir. May we have the honor of your name? Gucci of Beverly, your ladyship. <laughs> Gucci. Speak your peace. I'm a busy man. Oh, hush, John. Okay, let's. Did I lose some points? No, I think I gained some points. 4,300. 
Yeah, I gained 10 points. Okay. Rumor of your knowledge has reached even to my distant town. I have an unerring die for jewels. With the mere glance, I know what is pure and what is flawed. One could almost say I was gifted with divine grace to have such a skill. I heard that you. I heard that you are a master's eye for good jewels. I know quality when I see it. Yeah, somebody show you now with it. It's a pleasure to deal with a lady of such skill. I'm sure it would be if you'd show me something I may judge. Sword it shows it like that. Feast your eyes upon this exquisite marksmanship and the finest jewels of all creation. I'm an expert, you know, and I can see that these are jewels of the purest order. John, I simply must have them. But Matilda, your coffins are filled with jewelry. John! Ah! Oh, jeez, Lord Woman. Ah, what would you ask for this necklace and preachers to shut this woman up? Fine, whatever you offer will suit me fine. Uh, 50 marks for both. As you wish. Why, those jewels are worth far more! Matilda, I saw your tongue, you stupid woman! I am quite content with the offer. Well then, you'll take the 50 marks? Aye, it worries me, so worries me, so selling the abundance of jewels I possess. I have such a stone of them. I could sell them for a penny apiece and still be a rich man. Ah, uh, you have that many jewels of this quality. How so? Well, I, dear me, the secret I was about to impart is not meant for uh, uncouth ears. You men, step outside and until I call for you. Come, my friend, tell me all. I was by a lucky chance that one day I found myself lost within Sherwood Forest. Well, that is not what I call luck. Ah, but when I stopped to rest and regained my bearings, I discovered a cave. No simple cave this, but a dragon's hoard from the days of Merlin the Enchanter. Oh, it's blood! Did you say the dragon? Fortunately, the ancient dragon had died and not but its moldering bones and enormous pile of jewels remained. Jewels heaped as high as a man's chest. Rubies, emeralds, diamonds, opals, pearls, topaz, and turquoise. Oh, oh, did you say diamonds? More than stars in the sky. I tell you, the knowledge of this cave has nearly driven me to madness. What I would give to the free of this burden, of wandering from town to town, trying to sell them all, never knowing when I may be robbed. Oh, you poor man! Are there sapphires? Uncountable numbers of them. Pass. Not another word, wife. This simple woodcock shall have his wish. My dear fellow, perhaps I can aid in relieving you of this heavy burden. I would be eternally grateful for, but 5,000 marks, I would gladly sell it all. 5,000 marks? That's a goodly sum. Aye, but it is too much. I'll take the 50 marks and depart. Ah, don't be hasty. I must, of course, see the uh, treasure before I pay the fee. My conditions are simple. You will bring the 5,000 marks packed upon your horse while I go on foot before you. When I've revealed my secret, then payment will be due and not before. Eh, fair enough, I'll get us some men and... Nay, we will go alone. In a Sherwood Forest? Are you mad? We'll take a dozen men. If you insist. Still, what me, I would not trust the location of such a dragon's horde to common soldiers. John, you must listen to him! There's only one of them that one of all is blind! Ugh, I suppose you're right, dear. Anything to shut you up. Uh, but I'll not be pleased that foot and share with Forrest alone without more proof than this. Men! Come back in! Okay. I know they say to them. My jewelry is... If my jewelry is not proof enough, it is not quite. If you have what you say, give me more proof. Talk to my husband, he's the one being foolish here, not I! Enough talk, I want proof. Proof of what? 
Um, Chom Ness? Now that is truly a magnificent jewel. Let me see it closely. This one is not for sale. But if you demand more proof than this, then I shall give up and leave it once. Nah, he's convinced, aren't you, John? John! Hi, hey, hey, dear. God, I agree to conditions. Let us go at once. With pleasure. And your ladyship may have this jewelry for naught, as a token of my esteem for a delicate grace of feminine beauty. Oh, I shall never forget you, Gucci of Beverly! Now it's time to rob the sheriff blind. Well, he's gonna see it coming a mile away, but you know. It's a cool animation of him riding up on the uh, the horse. This part shall do nicely. Now why are we stopping here? Where is the cave? I warn you, I see no humor in this. I intend to fulfill my word. I shall reveal my secret and then payment shall be due. Behold. My secret. Hi. You're here. Why? It's your, uh, none other than Robin Hood. By my toth, if you think you can take me alone. But we are not alone. Aha! Go suck an egg. Merry day, Sir Sheriff. It's all a stinking cow the outlaw trick. Uh, have a care with your words, or I'll wrap some manners into you. What difference does it make? You'll murder me sooner or later. Not so. I give you my solemn oath that you shall depart this forest as whole as you entered it. Say, for a few belongings we shall take a payment for the banquet? What banquet? Why, the one that awaits you even now! Let us be off! This is an outrage! I only to release me! Sit down! I'll sit down on you! It is something amiss, Sir Sheriff. The food doesn't please you. The ale doesn't suit your refined palate. This clench is just so tight that you cannot swallow ale. Enough play! Let's cut the pig! Nay, Will, I promise him safe conduct and I'll not go back on my word. I demand! Plant your rump upon the stump! I am an official of King Richard. I dare you treat me like this way! Heed me well. You're a lying, traitorous dog, and the only thing that keeps you alive is my word that you the share with force as whole as you entered it. But if you dare mention Richard Lionheart again, you who conspire against him at every turn, I'll cut out your tongue. Hey, you, hey, yeah. There's some innocent fresh caught today. One more crime against you. Uh, what does it matter? One crime and a hundred, the penalty is the same. The rope. Perhaps some music would suit our guest. A blood of bolts of Robin Hood. Kill me and have it deal with it. You don't think I believe for a minute that you'll set me free. Unlike you, I honor my oaths. Another round of grog! Sing us your song, Alan! And make it loud enough to drown out the grinding of my lord Shares' teeth. Oh my god. You said he'd been sent back as whole as I entered, you dog! What? Are you not as whole as when you entered the life and clothed the same besides? <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing at me, you dung eating knave! For every insult I've suffered today, I'll see that you suffer tenfold! Farewell, and be glad we left you your hot. I swear, I'll not rest until I have vengeance. In my fondest regards to your lady. <laughs> Hearing them laugh is great. We couldn't contain a laughter as the sheriff cursed his way back to town. Yet for all the day's good work, I could scarcely wait for nightfall on the revel of my lady. By dusk, I paced the edge of the forest, desperately worried that she could not come. That some harm had befallen her. But at last, her cloak form gl glided through the trees to me, and I guided her swiftly to our camp. Are you sure no one saw you enter the forest tonight? No one had eyes for me once the sheriff arrived in town. 
What a merry sight that was. He sought to clothe himself in curses, so loudly did he rail against you. But I fear your lies will become more dangerous than ever. I worry about not about us, lady. When the king returns, he'll set things right. That he will, and you hear from me and from the queen, and all that you brave men have done in his behalf. Uh, bless you, Lady Marion. Please, Lady Marion is the shy maiden who lives in town. Here, I am only Marion. Already you've captured my men's heart as thoroughly as you captured mine. Have I? Then you are easily caught. Nay, you are an enchantress, Marion. Stay with me. You tempt me greatly. Of late, I've had such forebodings. I feel death near to me. I would give my life to keep you safe. I'm sorry to worry you, it's nothing. I must tell you quickly about the Queen's Knight, then return to town. Tomorrow I'll learn the password that he'll use. You must meet me at the Willow Grove, so I may give it to you. After the Abbot's treasure train has been seized, the Queen's Knight will meet you on Watling Street to receive whatever ransom you have to give him. But he'll deal only with the man who can spell out the password using the hand code I've given you. We'll be unwatched for him, but we've no news of when the treasure will come. Love says within the fortnight, you'll have to watch the road every day. I'll send scouts further north to give us advance warning. Then that's all I can tell you until tomorrow. I'll walk you to the edge of the forest. I'd be most pleased if you did. Oh, well, you got a Robin? May I take away the disguises in your cave? Much good cloth there, and many good poor folk in need of it for the winter. As you like, Tuck. I doubt I could show my face in town in any of those disguises again. Alright, that takes away a burden. Because now we don't have to wonder, oh, do we need this disguise? Do we need this disguise? Do we need this disguise? No, no worries. I was coming to get you. I agree with news, my friend. The abbot has charged Marion with witchcraft. Oh no. He'll burn her in the witch's court to the abbey today. Last night when she was afraid, if only I'd listened. I should have kept her here. Don't be a fool. You know she wouldn't have stayed, not when she had to meet the queen's messenger. Nothing will save the abbot from me if a single strand of her hair is singed. And what will you do? I must think upon it. You know, if we're going into an area of fire, uh, this ring protects us from fire, does it not? But here's the problem. If I put this on, we may have to give this to Marion. If we had to give this to Marion and we're wearing it, that may stop us from getting it to her. So do I preemptively wear it? Let's preemptively wear it. Almost looks like a Captain Planet ring, doesn't it? Or is it Joey Wheeler? Uh, fire? Fire! Shale will be expecting rescue attempt. It changes nothing. I must save her. Whatever you ask of us, we'll do. Well, I'll have you do whatever you want to me. So, take it nothing else at the moment. Go the widow's hut first. Thank the blessed lady that you come. Something terrible has happened to Marion. John told me, curse that bloody dog of an abbot. What will you do? You must save her. Exactly what he and the sheriff expect, I wager. She dies, the force is no priestess. No one to sing to the willows or dance life into the hearts of the trees. No matter what her death would mean to the forest, it would mean far more to me. Whatever it takes, I'll find a way to save her. I can't offer any help in battle, but there's need for me after I'll be there. Okay, so the question is, where do I go at this moment? Because I don't have any disguises. And I believe I know where she's going to be burned. She's going to be burned at that stake at the back end of the abbot's um, fiery. So the question is, how do I get into St. Mary's without... I can go in the pub. The pub will take me to the back area. Problem is... That I die instantly. Unless there's no one here! Which, okay. What do you want here, outlaw? I seek a way to enter Nottingham in secret. Seek elsewhere, I have no reason to help you, even if I could. I need your help. 
Now listen here, outlaw. If one of the sheriff's men comes by, but they'll all gather to watch an innocent woman burn, perhaps you should join them. Be danged. I take no pleasure in such foul things. I only ask that you unlock your cellar door and let me pass. What good is that to you? I know of the tunnels and where they lead. And if they catch you and ask how you found your way there, they'll never hear your word of my, word of you from my lips. A man will say anything under torture. You ask too much. Keep talking to him, I guess. In the name of the Virgin, I beg you to let me pass so the Lady Marion will die. What? Is the Lady Marion the burning? You did not know. Uh, but they said it was a witch. Why, she's one of the Queen Eleanor's ladies, loyal to our king. There's no more time. Even now, they may set the torch. Aye, aye, come at once. Godspeed. I'll not forget your help this day. Now mind that. Just be on your way quickly before someone comes in. All right, let's get out of here. It's this one. Hate to waste good ale. This one? Cast doesn't look nearly as heavy as the others, so it's still fixed solidly in place. Close the inkkeeper has been drawing ale from it and it's nearly empty. There we go. So I need to go this way. Because this takes me to the uh, the fiery. And then I need to go through the maze in the back to get to her. As I hope the place is empty, the abbot and his cavalry ladies, toadies, will be in the witch's court to watch Mary's execution. Okay, so from here I need to go back here. I think it's on the right side. In front of me lies the chapel, behind me the unfinished gate. Okay. Even from the sisters, I hear the angry muttering in the crowd outside the witch's court. And there faintly, I hear the abbot's voice calling out above the crowd. Bring in the witch! I have a little time. They'll like fight me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. This is a timed map puzzle. Okay, this may take me a couple tries. But if we go up... It's not up. The right? And then from here up. Um, left? Oh, no, 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 Why, why'd you just do that? God, I hope it's not a screen transition thing and I just lost it because of that. No, 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 stop, dude. Go where I'm telling you to go. It's up this way and around back this way. I hope I'm not late because of this stupid screen transitions. I can hear the angry money in the crowd outside. Burn the witch! I'm barely in time. It's not good. I was very clever of him to go through the maze and the hidden door and try to rescue Mary by surprise. Clever, but he's dead! So it was clever and it's it was wise. I shall make a tragic ballad of Robin's Stone rescue, which failed because he forgot to think of what happened when he found himself at the mercy of scores of armed enemies. If only we'd known he meant to be so clever, we might have aided him. There are times to act alone and times to seek advice of your comrades in arms. I have a feeling that I'm not supposed to do this. What if I use this here? I have to let Marion marry in! Alas for Marion, alas for Robin. We have lost both in a single black day. It is grievous indeed that he came so close but lost himself in the maze. It's too bad Robin didn't explore the maze earlier when he had disguises and more time. It makes too good I am a tale to sing, for they found Robin in the maze, mad and raging with grief. But the sheriff had no qualms by hanging a madman all the same. Robin could not save his soul, but let us hope he saved the game. Okay, so I need to restore way earlier. Uh, what if I restore here? And then we travel back to camp. And there's no one here. Well, what if I... What 
Well, I must find a way to save Marion. Aye, our hearts are with you. Uh, they've been talking to the men. The witch's court will be difficult to assault. Even if I must go alone. Sell your foolish tongue when we only for your word to go to a rescue. Give another loud blast upon your horn and we'll speak our strategies. Okay, so this is what I was supposed to do first. And someone's car alarm just went off. <laughs> I could scourge myself for giving away your disguises. Set aside your guilt. Even did I have those disguises, they would now be watching warily for them. It occurs to me that all the sheriff's men and abbot's monks will be at the witch's court to watch the burning. They may well suspect a rescue. They've learned of Marion's connection with Robin. Let me hear all your thoughts before I decide. Both the sheriff and abbot will be there, will they not? Let us concentrate all our force not toward the lady as they expect, but towards taking them prisoner. Once we have such hostages, we can demand that Marion be set free and even guarantee we're safe passage to the forest. I would not incite the mob to write, but the abbot is feared and hated by the common folk. Set them to create confusion and draw the soldiers into the streets. Where we can attack a full force outside the court while you slip inside and rescue a lady. My counselors try a subterfuge. But whatever means you can, enter the court secretly so we can seize the lady from the fire unhindered. When it seems certain you find a way in, I'll lead a two part attack through the town. Half are men from the north and half from the south converging upon the court. I'll take Will's horn, and when you hear me signal you pawn it, you'll know the moment is upon you to act. One strong wedge driving straight through the nearest town gate will serve us best with you in the lead. We'll cover you while you reach Marion and free him from the stake. Let's attack the soldiers and taunt them and then pretend to run away in all directions. The soldiers will spit up and run all over the town after us. Then you, Robin, with maybe five men can go out to Marion while we keep the soldiers busy running after us. I like the subterfuge plot. I, I think that's a good idea. I think it's a bad idea. I think that's a bad idea. Although it could work. Probably soldier. I think this is the second best idea, and I think this is the best idea. So now we just gotta do this again. Just gotta talk to him three times. Can we use this? Then we go through here. I still don't know if I should be wearing the ring or if I should give her the ring. I'm gonna say before I walk outside. Man's five. Okay, let's... That's a good restore point here. So let's save here. Very nice number. Even in the distance, I can hear the angry muttering from the crowd. Bringing the witch. I gotta wait for this signal, though. I think I went the wrong way. No, I went the right way. Wow, I actually went through a faster way than before. I gotta wait for the horn now. I can hear the angry money in the crowd outside. Burn the witch! I'm barely in time. I have to wait, right? Where's little John if he doesn't come? There it is. Okay. I hear Will's horn. I must act now. Oh, good job, team. Yeah, you see, I'm resisted to fire, so that didn't hurt me. I, I was right in wearing the ring. Lil John's flanking attacks decimated the soldiers and cleared the way long enough to take Marion from the stake. Thanks to his bold attack, the element of surprise we escaped with no loss of life. Once we reached the edge of the forest, I parted ways with my men. They drew the attention of our pursuers and took them on a merry chase into Sherwood. Some instinct led me to the nearest place where I might tend to Marion, for I couldn't carry her much further. Marion, Marion, can you hear me? Please be okay. She gets careless to breathe. The smoke has seared her lungs. 
I cannot save her, she'll die within minutes. What do I do here? I hope this is not a CPR thing because I failed that in Project Iceman. Another, I think it was a Sierra game, a uh, game called uh, Project uh, Codename Iceman. Uh, there was this part at the very beginning where you had to CPR on someone. It's literally like real CPR. You had to type in like the exact commands or something. It, it, oh, yeah. I did get past that part in the game, but once I got to the submarine, I couldn't beat it. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Um, our breathing is painful and ragged. Do I have anything that could heal? I think so. I'm not fishing. I cannot heal with my hands alone. Ring has no power to heal. The diamond. Somehow she's fooled her captors and kept a clutch within her hand. By the power of love! Bless the lady, if love be stronger than death, let my love flow through these gems and heal her. Oh, not the fire! Robin! Robin! Marion, I'm here. You're safe. Ah, oh, thank you, Lord. I, I thought I was dead. You were healed by the power of the heartstone. I must tell the password, quickly. Shh. Rest, my love. There's plenty of time now. I cannot rest until I tell you. The Queen's Knight will know you when you spell the word ransom. I should probably write that down. Ransom. Okay. Your duty is fulfilled. Don't tax your strength any further. I'll take you to a safer place. I carried Marion to the widow's cottage. The good woman at once took her in and tended to her. I remained with Marion until the widow assured me there was nothing more I could do. And we discussed how best to safeguard her. We reached a plan. Then I kissed my love farewell and I joined my men for the evening meal. Alvis, lady! Well enough. I placed her in the widow's care and sent Hob and his brothers to set watch. A demon most of wise were to return to Nottingham? She will not. The widow has his sister Blythe and will take Marion there to hide until it's safe to return. I swear by the Blessed Virgin for what he's done to Marion, depriving the abbot of his treasures is scarcely enough. But it's a start. If God wills, the king will finish the rest. Whether God's will or our skill, we must not fail. We sent scouts to the north and wait for the signal. Long weary days crept past. I fear that Princess John's nerve has failed and the treasure will never come. Alright, so we have a new day in front of us. I do want to go back and see... If I didn't have the ring equipped, would I have died when I tried to go through the fire? Where would it be? Here? No, I saved here. So, let's unequip. Is that feeling I would die instantly as soon as I... Wait, wait, wait. Shoot. It's this one. And you cut around this way. And you come up this way. And you go around this way. And then we have to wait for the sound. Yep! Oh, I anticipated that one. I knew there was something missing from this plan. He should have paid more attention to what Fork told him. I guess it's only meaning the lyrics about the fires of love burning hotly. <laughs> That's a very poor taste, Alan. Pray, pardon me, but then I'm not the one foolish enough to jump into fire without protection. Okay, so that was what it was. What if you do things different? I got some time to test this out. I think we did it the right way. Like, the way we did it, I think is the right thing to do. So, I'm very proud with the choice we made. Okay, what's the worst one that we could do? Lead a wedge stack? 
Seek to take the sheriff and Abbott hostage? I mean, they all sound bad. Let's do this one. I don't know if I have the ring clipped or not, but that seemed to work. Oh! <coughs> oh! <laughs> We've lost a bunch of men. Neither the sheriff nor the abbot remained more than a second um, once our attack began. A special force of guards speared them away to safety. We had a pitch battle with those that remained. We won the day, but lost five men. Once we reached the edge of the forest. Okay, so basically, that sped through quite a lot of actions. But it got some of our men killed. Yeah, I think I, I don't think we lost a single man doing the doing our strategy. So like I said, I think I did that right. It's like the worst plan. Uh wedge attack. Okay, again, the same thing seems to happen. So it seems like the same thing happens every time. The only difference is how many men did we lose? So how many men did we lose due to this plan? Three. Well, his plan was quick and brutal, but effective. I was able to rescue man at the cost of only three men. Yeah, like I said, I think we did the best thing. Losing five men was a lot. Do, do, do. Okay, so we did this one. We did that one. Sight a riot. Actually, let's try the bottom one first. I was wondering if a bunch of us showed up, but I guess... Yeah, <clears throat> it seems like the, uh, the, the scene is the same every time. Ooh, alas, we lost seven good men, though we fought like cornered animals. Our taunts did little except alert the soldiers to our presence, and we were forced to make a direct frontal attack with no element of surprise. The fighting was merciless, the streets dark with blood before we escaped Nottingham Town. Wow, seven men. All right, well, we got one more to try. I like seeing the different scenarios play out. Probably could have done this whole loading scene faster, but it's fine. I hope I remember which one I did. I think it's the second to last one I haven't done yet. Sight the riot. So in every scenario, you rescue Marion, but you lose men. Unless you do the point and click puzzling to figure out a way to save her uh, by making those choices we made. Though many of the common folk did really rally to our aid, it was scarcely enough. Only a small force of soldiers came to deal with it, and though we dispatched them easily enough, it set off the alarm. We left a bloody path in our wake, and while my men fought to cover me, I freed Marion from the stake. By the time we fought our way free, six brave men were dead. So the second best idea, I think I said, uh, you only lose three men. So I was right about that. The, the second best idea was the second best idea, but it was still the worst it was still the best of the worst ideas right yeah i i think we can say that all right my friends well hey i hope you have a wonderful fantastic amazing day until next time my dear friends so long and take care
Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.